are there successful models for bringing community health care to underserved communities? Um, let me just briefly comment. I think Mary can go into this in more depth that there's a wonderful system of federally qualified health centers out there in the country. And one of the things that was for me uh, a, a double loss with the last presidential election is that Hillary Clinton explicitly said that she wanted to increase funding for federally qualified health centers who, who generally serve um, communities of lower socioeconomic status. And they certainly don't appear to have flourished under the current administration. So uh, my sense is there's gonna be a need to uh, look at how we can bolster the FQHCs and models like that. And there are many other, mo many other models. One of the important um, aspects of really high quality community care is that it reaches outside of the clinic doors and views its responsibility to a geographic area, to a population, and views its, the population as its patient, not just the individuals who walk through its doors. And there are many examples, both in the United States, uh, beginning with the prototypes of the FQHCs and began in the Mississippi Delta uh, and in a part of Boston, uh, which I've forgotten which part of Boston it was. Um, but, and, and many, many fine examples. It, it's, it's, very, it's very doable, uh, but it requires a, a system that isn't simply looking for high cost procedures that carry a, a, a broad profit margin. We, right. we have to reimburse on the basis of health and not just on the basis of uh, costly procedures. Yeah. I, I if think people want to find a great example, just look at City Block Health. That's one that actually uh, has had roots in Boston and New England that uh, is doing phenomenal work in, in this regard, City Block Health. Again, um, expanding Medicaid mm -hmm. would do a tremendous amount. Uh, Atul Gawande has written a lot about this, and we know that people, what healthcare is about regularly seeing a doctor, uh, you know, getting regular checkups. It's not about, healthcare is not about, you know, emergency surgery. That's not what people's healthcare is about. And what has really helped was the ex expansion of Medicaid. And so that people could, and, and making sure that people could get free uh, checkups and free preventive health. And we need to just keep doubling down on preventive stuff. And we have to start doing healthcare and not sick care. And yeah. we have to incentivize keeping people healthy. And so there are a whole bunch of different models where group, you know, healthcare providers, groups of healthcare providers get paid to um, a certain amount to cover a whole bunch of people. And uh, if they keep them healthy, they do better. And those are the kinds of models that work and that we need to do. Keep doing. And uh, Trump is, you know. I have to say, Al, you may not be a doctor, but you are a public health person. 